you best of the two best the best youtube subscribers on the planet that's you and i'm 50 plus and i had a couple of good comments on my last video i wanted to talk to you guys about one was um uh well let's talk to uh paul paul mentioned um he was interested in his second career as uh as as being a driver and he was even considering flatbed his question is a question i get quite a bit and it is do you as a driver get to choose whether or not a load is tarped and uh the straight up answer to that is no you don't you know the load will say whether or not you uh they want the load tarped okay and uh let's say the load says tarp this load I, I got right now i got wire coils that when i picked these wire coils up they were outside in the in the big ass yard you know and you know they put them on the back of my truck and they want them tarped in fact <clears throat> the load i dropped off yesterday was also wire coils and uh those wire coils uh, I, I picked up at a place I pick up all the time. Okay. You know, I, I've picked up several times there. Never tarped. In fact, the load said no tarp. I get there. It was the second or third. Anyways, they said that uh, November 1st, uh, every year, November 1st, they require loads to be tarped. That's, that's that rule, right? So I had to tarp it because um, they won't get you your paperwork until they see that load tarp. And then you just send in that you tarped it and you get paid tarp pay for it. Okay. Uh, but let's say a load require uh, uh, says in there to tarp it and then you choose to not tarp it because shit, they, you know, bricks. Let's just say it's bricks. Okay. <laughs> bricks go on the outside of a freight house. Why well, they got to tarp them, right? You know? So, you don't tarp them. It's bricks. The hell? So, um, you drive it up the highway and uh, you get to your final and the customer says, I'm not paying for this load. I'm rejected. Why? Because you didn't tarp it. What the hell are you tarp bricks for? Come on, man. You're building a house. You got to build a house with bricks that don't have a tarp cover. They can't, be, can't get wet. The hell? The problem is that load, those bricks they had um, um, little uh, ID numbers on the in, for each load, okay, each brick pile, and they wanted it covered because driving down the road, those papers would come off, and uh, that's how they identify the bricks. But you drive up the road with it uncovered because you figure bricks can't get wet. And as you drove up the road, it peeled the, the decals off, and and now they don't know which bricks is what, so they re, they 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 reject the load because you made an executive decision and you didn't know that there was an underlying reason why they wanted that load tarped. Okay, so um, sometimes I, I I pick up stuff, man, that makes no sense why they want to tarp, but I don't care. They paying me to do it. Okay, so here's the next thing. The securing and tarping man is nothing dude I, it it it, uh, it seems like it's a, a big deal but it's not and and people are going to talk all kinds of trash you know oh man I got to tarp this and blah blah blah, blah, blah. And, and, and I felt that way I was with you okay I felt that way until I did it you know <laughs> you know um you know, people say things to discourage you because, you know, they just people, man. You know, why people do anything and say why people vote for Joe Biden? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. 
I don't even, I don't get why well, I put it to you. I, I, I'll get straight up and say I don't understand why black people vote for him because that, that joker is uh, a wolf. He ain't even in sheep clothing. But, damn it, I keep getting on that. I'm sad. We was talking about tarp Yeah. People say stupid stuff. They do stupid stuff. They do. They say things they have no idea about. You know, a lot of people talk about tarping is such a horrible thing, and they never even tarped a load ever. They don't know. And I was one of them before I tarp. Uh, trust me. I told my son we was when I told him I was going to go in and do this. I said I ain't tarping no load. I ain't changing no. We're gonna roll tandems and. Uh, you'll drive your truck, I'm driving my truck, and we get the load on, you're going to have to tarp them and, and, and secure them. <laughs> I, I told him that before I even got a CDL because it just looks like it's a big deal. And uh, and I thought about that through the whole time I was pulling drive in and refrigerator trucks. Uh, uh, I, was re I was really, really, really not wanting to do tarps and, and, and secure them. But it's a part of this job, and if I want to go to the next level, I have to do it. Then I start doing it. Then I realize that's a bunch of bullshit. It's not. It's not what you think it is. Um, and, and even in tough loads, and, and, and like really hard loads, stuff like odd loads, things like that, they have tarp machines. They know they shit is jacked up. They have a tarp machine. You pull your tarp side, lay them down, hook them to the tarp machine, the tarp machine, drag it over the goddamn load. What? All you got to do is bungee. It's nothing. It's nothing to it. I'm telling you. So don't be discouraged about coming out here doing it. And they pay you for it. Okay. Whew. Okay. I, mean, I, I got to stay focused because I'm still pissed off at this election crap. Okay. Uh, I had another really good one. And uh, I'm going to say his name. Um uh well let me just start talking about it i'm gonna i'm gonna get to his name in a minute here uh oh there he is clifton clifton said and it is so frustrating brother i feel you i feel you i feel you i feel you uh he pulled flatbed for uh swift and what I'm about to say is not what his issue is, is not exclusive to Swift. This is a, a industry type of thing. OK, so he been out for like, let's just say you're out for. Uh, in fact, let me just uh, six months. That's how long he's been out. He's been out for six months. OK. The company policy is you out. You know, one week you get one day. He has six months, twenty-four days earned. You lost days because they only will allow you to take X amount of days off. Okay, and here's it, it like like three or four days or something like that. Okay. And here is the one really, 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 really horribly slap in the face thing they do, okay? If you choose to take all those earned days off in a row, they want you to clean your truck out because they're going to put somebody else in it. And then when you get back, they're going to reassign you to a different truck. That's right. That's right. That is a shitty ass slap in the face way of saying thank you for running hard for six consecutive months. But that's the policy. Look, don't don't say Swift is all this. So, you know, they, they horrible. Problem. This is a industry standard type of thing. It's not just them. OK, this is something that that also piss you off, brother. If you like Swift has uh, like a. Uh, gold platinum silver something like that the, the rankings because you get a bonus a quarterly bonus at swift people think you don't make money there you goddamn sure do make money there yes sir 
I did damn good and you could too. They they goddamn you can't make money at Swift. Don't let nobody tell you that bullshit. Okay? But uh you get these bonuses, right? And the bonuses are based on your on your productivity, whether you are in uh what's what level you're in. If you like uh I think silver is like you get two hundred and fifty. If you're gold, you get five hundred. And if you're platinum, you get a thousand dollar bonuses, okay? These are quarterly bonuses, and it's based off your performance. All right, and uh, and the performance is based on on uh, there. It's not based on your uh, availability. Okay, meaning if you take home time, they include that home time in your productivity, and you're not being productive because you're not at home because you're not working. You're at home, right? And so you could be busting your ass right now and be platinum. Okay, and when you go home for you know a week, when you come back, your ass has done lost seven hundred fifty dollars. Now you down into the two hundred fifty dollar deal. They just taxed your ass for taking off for you know for earned time off. You earn that time off, and they're gonna punish you for taking it. But that's how they work, man. So it's a lot of jacked up ass shit. You know, in this industry, and uh, and and you have to know it. So my, this is what I suggest to all of y'all coming into this industry. Every month, take your time. Okay, so if if they're giving you a week for each month, then out four uh, weeks, and then take your four days. And then out for four weeks and take your four days. Don't let that shit stack up. Not if you don't have to, because you're going to lose them days off. And let me tell you something else. If you do this, this is some crazy ass shit, but it's true. If you take uh, days off, let's say you got 24 days and you take five days not 24 because they're gonna take you out of your truck you don't want to go through it all that man it'll take me it'll take me half a day to get all this shit out this truck i mean you've been living in it for a year right so uh so uh wait, i think i hope this guy ain't coming to get me because then i gotta shut my video down well i hope he is coming to get me i need to get the hell out of here but uh those extra days that you don't take you lose them days you don't get to save them you don't get to put them in a bank so, you know, it's shitty, but it's the way they do things. I, I, I thought he was coming over here. Sorry. <laughs> he was angling toward the truck. I think he was coming over here. Anyways. <clears throat> Those are just some, you know, a couple of little things, man, that you guys need to consider when you come in. You know, it's just industry standard. Not, not everything about this industry is good, man. That ain't. That is not. But um, there, there's some, there's some downs in, in just about all of it. He keep teasing me with that goddamn fault lift. I think he coming to get me to come unload me. I'm next. That's why, I'm, you know. And then I, I'm going from. Uh, I'm in uh, Marshall, Texas, and I'm uh, I'm gonna go to Shreveport, Louisiana, and uh, and pick up some uh, shingles and take them to Oklahoma City. And uh, best thing about Oklahoma City is I'm gonna get to stop at. Um, uh, uh, Robinson's Meat Market and get me some bacon. <laughs> Anyways, I hope I gave you guys a little information and and uh, and, uh, and and you know, hang in there, guys. You you, you you don't worry about don't worry about the tarping. Don't worry about the securement. Listen, this you go out here, this guys, four hundred fifty goddamn five hundred pounds tarping and strapping loads. Look like they've been doing it for fifty years. How in the hell they keep all that goddamn weight on them? You know, they not not only are they chasing the diabetes monster, but you know, it, it the work must not be that bad. 
You know, it is not, guys. It's not. I thought it, I was in the same boat you guys were in. I thought it was too, but it's not hard. It's not hard. It's not overly taxing. None of that. You're going to figure your way to get it done a lot easier too. You just watch other people, watch experienced guys and learn from them. Go to them and ask them, hey, can I secure your load with you? I want to watch how you do this. Can I put your help you put your tarps on? I want you to teach me your method, you know? And and you would be surprised, man. These guys, you know, they're like these million mile guys, man. Look here. Ask them for some advice. <sighs> I've been out here. For, you're going to hear a long ass goddamn story. Me and God been out here for nerve. Five, six, maybe 700 years I've been out here doing this hit type work. I got about nine trillion miles safe. Miles safe. You don't know what the motherfucker umpire truck drive. Safe miles. Let me show you how to do this shit. And they're going to tell your ass a story while you're doing it. Going to bore the living the fuck out of you, okay? Going to bore your ass to pieces. But go ahead on. Tune that shit out, you know. Think about the last time you was, you know. Or, you know, whatever you're thinking about. Like, change it, you know. But watch what that dude doing, man, because there's so much good quality information that you can learn. Some bullshit, too. But, you know, if you can learn something, help your job get easier, you know, go ahead and put up with that bullshit for a little while. The motherfucker can't, they can't stop talking. You know, but they got information to give you. Suck it up. Grab it. And, uh, and, and you know, make, make life easy for yourself. Okay. So, uh, but don't be scared of it, okay? And uh, and bro, take your take your days off when use this as a lesson. Excuse me, as a lesson learned, okay? And uh, uh, you know, next time just take your days off. If you like your truck, don't get don't want to ask it, cause cause they're goddamn you you, don't, you never know what the hell you're gonna get when you get out of your truck, man. You know, you might get a goddamn you know. They tell you, oh, yeah, we got a, a 2020 waiting for you when you get back, you know, but clean this one out. Then you show up in that 2020, you know, it's got 500,000 miles on it, you know. You drive like somebody made all of them 500,000 miles in reverse. Stink, you know, they, you know, it's trashed out. You just never know. I'm not saying that that's what, you, what it's going to be because I don't want to sound negative. They might say, you know. Go ahead and unass this truck. You take your days off and you start pouting. And when you come back, they got that motherfucker still got plastic on the seat. Brand new ass, some bitch. You know? Who knows? Who knows? You know? So I'm not saying that it's going to be a negative thing all the time. But I goddamn don't count on it with these crazy ass folk. Until I see you again, the live undistracted. And here's your boop. Yeah! Boop!